Coming up in today's video, I'll show you how to make this DIY hair spritz that will leave your hair feeling cool for the springtime and for the summer and have your hair growing long, healthy and strong. Welcome to Simply Chef where we talk about all things natural hair including my own natural hair journey, styling ideas, DIYs and so so much more to help you grow your natural hair long, healthy and strong. So I am in my garden and I'm showing you a bit around my garden beds. I have they planted a spearmint, thyme and rosemary in this bed as you can see. The thyme is really really small. I actually planted it from a supermarket plant that I've got. My thyme is in its second year. I've actually just moved it to this bed. And also this rosemary plant I got from a supermarket plant. I just stuck one of them in my garden bed and it started to grow. Growing your own uh, mints and herbs and things for your uh, DIYs is a great way to save money. So I love gardening and I love growing things to grow my natural hair. We've talked about clove in my last video and in this series I'm doing a clothes for hair growth um, challenge if you like because I'm going to be revealing how much growth I get from my hair for the next two weeks and I'll be doing a variety of clove mixtures. I talked in my previous video before this about the benefits of clove. You can go and watch that but in brief it promotes growth to your hair. It really soothes your scalp if you've got any con uh, conditions such as contact dermatitis. It really slows down grays and it's just a great moisturizing treatment. Clothes is also really really cheap so combined with the free mints that I've grown in my garden this hair recipe is almost free. So I do have two types of mints in my garden I've got the spare mint and the peppermint. For this recipe I decided to use the peppermint because the peppermint has so much great benefit I mean both of them are great for your hair but the peppermint one is used a lot more in hair care treatments so for this recipe I'll just be using the peppermint one. Now please guys do give these recipes a try and come back and comment below how you found them. A lot of these recipes have just really been helping my hair and I want to help you to grow your hair. So do comment below if these recipes are helping you in your hair care. That would really motivate me to keep doing these. So um, the technique that I use with the peppermint is I scrunch it all together to release the juices out of the plant. Now peppermint is great for other things other than hair and one of the things that I do is if I'm having like a really stressful day I go in my garden and I rub my peppermint plant together and then I just breathe that in and it really soothes and calms me down. I've got quite a lot of plants in my garden that helps to just calm down my stress levels. So here is the grounded um, clove that I have so I actually scrunched that peppermint and added it to just some boiling hot water and i'm using the ground clove so this treatment is able to be used straight away because with the grounded clove the treatment is able to infuse together a lot quicker than if i was using the clove buds so this is just a really soothing calming spritz for your scalp but it's great to cool down your hair in the spring and in the summer months especially as the wind the weather is getting warm so I infuse both that and the clove in just some warm water and usually let it sit for at least 24 hours before you put it on your hair. So I'm just going to quickly talk about some of the benefits of a peppermint for our hair. A lot of us have used the peppermint oil and this is no different. Peppermint improves the blood circulation and gives oxygen to your scalp. The result of this is a uh, lots of growth for your natural hair because our hair follicles is getting the oxygen that it needs it makes our hair grow full and uh, increases in length also peppermint fights dandruff and dry itchy scalp i've always used peppermint for my scalp anytime my flare up is really really bad i've used peppermint oil so to grow it and to use it in my hair for dandruff is really really good it's also effective for dry skin conditions like uh, contact dermatitis that I also have. So if you have any of those conditions, you really should give this spray a try. Peppermint also helps to slow down hair loss. Now, um, with the oxygen supply that we get into our hair scalp from this, then our hair is going to be encouraged to our scalp's going to be encouraged to produce a hair, so we won't be losing our hair. So that's another great benefit. So coupled with clove, both promoting growth, we have to give this spritz a try. 
it's very cheap it's almost free for myself so really if you can grow clove you could also grow clove and mix it with this and then the recipe will be completely free so do give it a try and do let me know below if you give it a try you probably already have both of these ingredients to hand you can use peppermint from your tea bag that's absolutely fine and the clove you have already in your kitchen is absolutely fine so just mix those two things together to make this spritz and as you can see from the demonstration i'm spritzing this again on my scalp i'm concentrating mainly on my scalp because that's the root that's where the hair grows from for the length of my hair i'm making sure it's moisturized or with water sealing it in with uh, olive oil and castor oil mainly but if the peppermint and clove mixture goes along the length of my hair then that's absolutely fine as well if you've got so far in the video please do consider subscribing if you've not done so about 64 percent of you have not subscribed to my channel that tune in week after week but it would really mean a lot to this family if you subscribed then i know that you really want this content and i will keep making it for you so you do know that we are on a mini braze hair growth challenge you are welcome to join this challenge starting from the 8th of May to the 8th of August. You can do the full time, you can do half the time, you can do whatever suits you, but we are using mini braids to grow natural hair long, healthy and strong. Now as I massage all of that goodness into my scalp, do go ahead and check out my other playlist on this channel that I think will be beneficial to you. That is my mini braids for growth challenge for this challenge. Also from the previous challenge, my Aveda playlist, my um, just my natural hair journey. A lot of you have joined after seeing my hair at this length. My hair was never long. It was never this length. So do go ahead and check out that playlist showing you my hair journey, that my hair has come a long way. So the tips and tricks that I show you is for someone who's never had long hair. So you won't feel daunted to think, oh, her hair is long. It's always been long. My hair has never been long. So hopefully that is some motivation that you need. So I do hope you've enjoyed today's video showing you how to use peppermint and clove to grow your natural hair long, healthy and strong. And I've reminded you just to sign up for the challenge. We are leaving our hair alone in 2022. We are treating it with Aveda and using hair growth aids to help to grow long healthy and strong so just join the challenge and before you know it you'll be reaching your hair goals you want to also say look out for my length check it is filmed already you'll be very very surprised to see how long my hair is now compared to last year i will be doing a side by side of my mini braids as well to show you how much length i got using virgin hair fertilizer i do know you like the virgin hair fertilizer content so that will really really show you how good virgin hair fertilizer is as well and the clove will be giving us boosted growth so i'm very very excited thank you so so much for watching today's video have a blessed blessed day and i will see you in my next one take care